Whoa, bro! What do you think you're doing, Esse? You just expelled a gas cloud of spit and mucus, potentially passing potent pathogens. Probably pouring penetrating pestilence everywhere. I'm sorry! Go, Go to your room. room. Thought we raised him better than that. Where did we go wrong? That's... All we can do is love him, or leave him on the doorstep of a Taco Bell. Dun, 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 dun. So dun. Fed. We're so hard on our son Steve because everyone knows that you should cover your mouth when you sneeze to keep from spreading the nasty. But it's even more important now because a new study from MIT shows that all that gross stuff that you expel when you sneeze goes up to 200 times farther than previously thought. Prior to this study, it was assumed because of momentum that the larger mucus droplets spewed forth from your mouth traveled farther than the smaller droplets. But then MIT published their study called Island Expiratory Events on Coughing and Sneezing in the Journal of Fluid Mechanics. The MIT years utilized mathematical models, simulations, and high-speed imaging, and this is what they saw. Ah, sneeze! Gross. What Steve created there with his disgusting mouth cavity was a multi-phase, turbulent, buoyant cloud that, quote, mixes with surrounding air before its payload of liquid droplets falls out, evaporates into solid residues, or both. Gross. But also kind of cool. What the researchers found here is that the turbulent cloud of gas actually stirs up the mucus droplets as they travel through the air, keeping them suspended and increasing their overall distance, like a disease-ridden feather from Forrest Gump, gently meandering on the breeze and looking for an unsuspecting Haley Joel Osment to land on when he was cute. The lighter mucus goo, around 10 micrometers in diameter, travel up to 200 times farther. Assuming LeBron James can dunk from the free throw line, that's like waking up to find that actually he can tomahawk from over half a mile away. That comparison doesn't make any sense, so there. This is actually alarming to scientists because of that whole uh, transmitting disease thing. They know now that the bad stuff stays in the air longer and travels way farther, potentially infiltrating ventilation systems and easily spreading throughout buildings. Like a disease-ridden John McClane gently meandering through the ventilation shafts looking for an unsuspected Hans on which to land upon. So hey, everyone, cover your mouths when you sneeze, not with your hands, but the inside of your elbow so as to trap the plague in your favorite cashmere sweater. Guys, tell us what things other people do that totally gross you out in the comments down below. Describe it with vivid detail or forget that crap and just say nice things to Elliot and tell him how much you appreciate his existence because this is his last white wall story before he floats on out of here like mucus on a turbulent gas cloud of moving on. I can't handle it anymore. Dude, just stand here and Smile at the camera. Just give them what they want. Just smile. <laughs> Thank you. I'm smiling. <clears throat>